Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. Today we are reviewing the King's Thumper Max Air Compressor. This is the newest model of a uh, Thumper you can buy. They're $129 at the moment from 4 Drive Supercenter. And I bought this one from my local uh, Oz Trekkers. And this was purchased from them. They're a stockist of uh, 4 Drive Supercenter. And uh, they do their own uh, camper vans and stuff as well. So I've bought this locally. I uh, didn't have to pay postage online. They do the same price as what they do for 4 Drive Supercenter. So um, thanks to the people for helping me. Um, I'll get into the details now. For the compressors is a 8 metre heavy duty rubber hose. It has a heavy duty 3 metre power cord with battery clamps. Rubber anti-vibration feet can be permanently mounted and hardwired if desired. All metal pistons, pressure release valve, 300 litres a minute is maximum output, 150 psi maximum pressure and a bonus bag. And this is what it looks like here. It's got a carry handle. Um, before here it used to have a handle and stuff under it but now there's a cover, there's a switch on it behind it. It's got an extra motor on it. It's a one and a half horsepower. And it is about a minute faster than the previous thumper. As here, some specs here. Get all the uh, airbed attachment gauges. Uh, it's the most powerful portable air compressor in its class with a huge output at 30 psi. Built in air filter keeps the unit free of dirt and other contaminants. Uh, automatic built in thermal cutoff switch protect the motor against damage from overheating. Integrated 150 psi, easy to read. Pressure gauge and includes an 8 meter quick connect high pressure rubber hose with the ease twist screw on brass air valve connector and uh, powered by a 1.5 horsepower 12 volt oilless direct drive motor with 90 amp digital auto stop function and here it says here it's 13.8 is the maximum voltage 90 amps 120 psi maximum working pressure 150 psi uh, restart pressure 60 degrees celsius maximum operating temperature to minus 50 and a model number comes in a nice box here as you can see here Instead of the normal attachment being on the back here, they've put it on the side that these two are joined together. Gives you a little bit extra a hose length with that little piece there. Has uh, different battery clamps to the other one. I've uh, hardwired this one into my Prado. i uh, not putting the ARB one in, this one will be in there. And uh, it's in there at the moment, so we'll go to the uh, car and I'll uh, show you how I've installed it and I'll also read the instructions uh, now as well. Do not attempt to dismantle the Thumper Max dual air compressor. Don't attempt to repair, modify the compressor in any way. If you do, you will fold the warranty. Please refer to warranty section in the manual and any claims regarding the malfunction or any problem with the compressor. Do not use this compressor with wet hands or anywhere that could potentially wet the compressor. Never allow children to operate the compressor. Close supervision is necessary when children are around the compressor during operation. The compressor will become very hot and immediately after use, do not touch any part of the compressor with bare hands other than the on off switch immediately uh, after use. Do not pump anything other than atmospheric air. Never point any air nozzle or spray uh, toward any part or any person or animal. The operation. Remove the unit from the carry bag and place it 
on the dry flat surface. Connect the air supply hose to the unit using the quick connect fitting on a 12 volt battery connect. The red clamp goes to the positive post and the black clamp goes to the negative post. Check that the valve system is clean and free from dirt. Connect the air hose by screwing the brass inflator onto the tire uh, valve stem. Only finger tighten the inflator. Do not use any tool as you may damage the inflator and the valve stem. Turn the thumper compressor on and let the air flow into the tire. Watch the gauge closely and turn the unit off when you have reached your desired pressure, making sure not to go over the manufacturer's recommend dated pressure. Uh, remove the inflator from the valve stem. Remember to place the valve cover on the stem and disconnect the clamp from the batteries. Allow the thumper max dual air compressor to cool down, placing inside the carry bag and store the thumper dual air compressor in a dry location. It says use extra caution when inflating small objects, bicycle tyres and balls. Uh, pay close attention to the pressure gauge and are prepared to stop the unit quickly when the manufacturer's recommended pressure is reached. Never exceed the uh, manufacturer's recommended maximum pressure. Uh, product disclosure is the compressor can only operate on 12 volt system. Use extreme caution when connecting the unit to power source batteries can spark or vent explosive gases. Consult a qualified auto electrician for the proper connection procedure if unsure. After 5 minutes of continuous operation allow the unit cool uh, before resetting. Damage can occur from continued overuse. The compressor will become hot during use. Only use the carry handle to remove the unit and avoid burns. Allow the unit to cool before storing. Only inflate tyres to manufacturer's recommended pressure. Do not overflate tyres as tyre failure could occur resulting in serious injury or death. The use of leather gloves and safety glasses is recommended when using the Thumper Max Dual Air Compressor. And never use a different gauge hose or other fitting to the supplied changing any fittings can result in serious injury. Thermal cutoff, the Thumper Max Dual air compressor is equipped with an automatic thermal cutoff in the event that it reaches an unsafe operating temperature the automatic switch will activate cutting all the power to the unit to prevent damage immediately disconnect the unit from power source and allow the unit to cool for at least 5 minutes to uh, 15 minutes uh, once the temperature of the compressor returns to a safe operating it will then switch itself back on and the contain air temperatures can negatively affect the performance of the compressor. Pressure cutoff switch. The uh, Thumper Max dual air compressor is fitted with an electronic pressure cutoff when the compressor is builds up to 125 psi of pressure the compressor will completely shut off. When the pressure reduces to 90 psi, the compressor will automatically restart. The specs here is heavy duty air compressor. The cylinder is 2 times 60 mils. DC 12 volts, 300 liters a minute, 150 max psi, 90 amps. Uh, a handy storage carry bag and can be hard wired. A heavy duty 2 meter power cord with battery clamps features the circuit brake and automatic thermal cutoff, 8mm nylon hose with inline pressure gauge, maximum voltage is 13.8. Then we have the auto reset thermal protection, pressure cutoff 125 psi, restart pressure 90, 6 degrees operating maximum and minus 55.
and we come to the warranty part which is 12 months warranty warranty covers under normal usage condition a defect in design to the manufacturer which results in the product failing to perform as described in the authorised advertising or literature we recommend either repair or replace the product at the discretion of providing that the fault is found and have been caused by the design manufacturing defect or non misuse or tampering uh, our goods come with guarantees that cannot be exceeded under Australian consumer law you are entitled to a replacement or refund in the major failure or compensation any other reasonable uh, foreseeable loss or damage you will also entitled to have goods repaired or replaced if the goods fail to be acceptable quality or failure does not amount to major failure the benefits provided as your consumer by the warranty in addition to other rights and remedies available to you under the law and warranty does not cover any damage resulting from improper use, faulty installation, modification during installation, cost of removing and reinstalling the product, travel expenses, consumer remote location, the transport charges, damage in transit is reasonably to deliver pick up your product including any cost associated postage or your repair replacement product if you do not freight your product we recommend that you ensure against loss or damage any loss directly or indirectly associated by the product failing to operate to make a claim you ring this 1800 88 39 64 and that is the instructions and we'll have a look at it in the car now this is the uh, back of my car as you can see the dumper you can plug anything into here, nose, you can put it down here, and try to keep the hose out of the way, and the uh, dumper just sits here with screws in the uh, rubber feet, so there's no rubber feet under there, and uh, fits right nicely in between the side panel and the fridge, the handle here, it's easy to move. access the panel in the door. I'll go around the other side. It's the other side where my control panel is. It will be hooked into an Anderson plug. It has voltage meter. The fridge automatically goes on and off. I place my cord here, which gets stuck around the front of the compressor, and that stops it from crashing in the side here. So that's pretty good. It's very neat. If your vehicle mounted it way, you may get hot as it's in the sun here. And uh, once I get it connected to uh, power, I will uh, show you how it works. But for now, we have these alligator clips that will hook onto a battery or auxiliary battery if you have one in the rear. They're different than the other ones that come with. a lot nicer. I'm going to chuck these off and put an Anderson plug on it with the extension on these so this can actually hook to the engine at the front and will come all the way from the engine all the way into the back here through the uh, the window 
and uh, all I need to do is walk around with the hose which I'll uh, get out and attach now well you have our gauge here it's actually uh, you can disconnect it and you can actually use other um, gauges if you do want to but in the instructions that we read it says don't but I don't see the harm in that so we can shove an RLB on there whatever and uh, so you can uh, push it on and off the, uh, the valve stem when you need to and uh, all these do is just connect in the same way hold this back push it in, let go in there, release same way you can't actually push it like that to hold it back connect that's done then the other bit goes to the same in here and plugs here connected so we have eight meters from the back here with a little extension there and uh, this will reach along the uh, car